Eat fat. Low fat diet could actually have disastrous health consequences. Eat fat. Cut the carbs. Low carb, Reverse keto, western price, bull crap. Eat fat. Cut the carbs. This news just broke. May 23rd. I got this from the website guardian.com. So there's this this group. Charity. They made a lot of claims accusing low fat promoting of corruption. Now this is another video where it would, might help for me to bring in some science. And I don't really do that much. It's not that I'm against it. As I was telling Ryan from Happy Healthy Vegan just a month ago at MedFest that I like their videos and it's good that they use science to counter all these fat promoting bullshit claims. It's good to have that. But it's good to have variety too. And that's what I do. Okay, I'm at the computer. Here's the Times article on this story. Low-fat diet, a big mistake, in quotes, meaning it's not. And this is a short article here. The study could be good news for Tim Noakes, the most retarded high-fat promoter there is. Looking at the Guardian website, let's quickly go through some of this article. In a damning report that accuses major public health bodies of colluding with the food industry. The thing about that is, that's a half-truth. If you want to bullshit the public, you got to start with some truth. But the other half of the truth, they're not telling you. Sure, the, the grain industry probably has lobbyists that go to Washington, but so does the meat industry. Of course they do. All industries have lobbyists. The National Obesity Forum calling for a major overhaul of current dietary guidelines. Well, the current guidelines were a major overhaul. They say the focus on low-fat diets is failing to address Britain's obesity crisis. There's a whole bunch of stuff going through my head at one time. I could make another hour and a half video on this, but I don't have the time. <sighs> There's truth there again. The Britons are getting fatter, of course, but they always have gotten fatter. It's failing to address it, that's true, but the, the truth they're not telling you is the reason it's failing to address it is because British people are not following it. And then it goes on, and then they snack between meals, and that's making people fat. That's kind of a flimsy statement. <laughs> there's, there's no, there's nothing there. You know, snacking doesn't make you fat. You know, I snack all day long. In the name of this group, the National Obesity Forum, that reminds me a lot of what happened like six weeks ago when Dr. McDougall was kicked out of what was called the Obesity Medical Conference. And he teaches the low-fat diet. And the only other speakers there were high-fat promoters. Talk about corruption. Instead, this group calls for a return to Whole Foods. Now, I'm cutting in mid-sentence here. <laughs> There's too much there. See, that part sounds good. Except, uh, what do you mean a return? There's never any recommendation to eat fractioned foods. I can actually show you what the current recommendations are. Here in CBS Port, covering this story, today's date, the official diet advice is having disastrous health consequences. No. See, look at, look at this, man. The report said it's possible if the public had been advised to eat fattier foods in their natural form instead of unnatural man-made low-fat foods for the past 30 years, the UK would have lower rates of obesity, heart disease, and type 2 diabetes. <sighs> See, they're playing around with stuff here. And what do you mean fattier foods? Um, see, see, they're just like mixing apples and oranges there. I don't have time to get into that. Anyway, down here near the end of the article is where you can find this new report. So I went there, and here it is. Healthy eating guidelines for the U uh, UK are currently eat at least five portions of fruits and vegetables every day. Base meals on potatoes, bread, they don't say white bread, 
they don't say white rice or white pasta. You can get Whole Foods of those. Choosing whole grain versions. There it is, people. There, see what? It's pretty, it's pretty clear. It's pretty clear. It's right there in their own guide. And it even recommends some high fat foods and dairy, fish, eggs, small amounts of oil, junky stuff in small amounts. And even if they did eat refined foods. Those really don't make you fat if you're eating a low-fat diet. Getting back to the Guardian. Instead, they call for a return to whole foods, such as meat, fish, and dairy, as well as high-fat and healthy foods. Almost no one will tell you this. Meat and fish are not foods. They're animals. A fish is an animal. A meat is a muscle from an animal. Those aren't foods. As for dairy, well, eggs are not foods, they're a chicken's period, waste. Humans cannot properly assimilate milk. And then they also say, eating fat does not make you fat. But it helps, because what goes along with all that sugar is always fat. The problem is not sugar. The problem is where people are eating their sugar from, and it's junk food. Not only is junk food not real food, but it's loaded with fat. The fat that you wear has to come from somewhere. Then this group says that eating a low-fat diet will increase your risk of diabetes. This is folks, and this is the typical, this is a common tactic that these people have been using for many years. They even give a link to a scientific paper here. Check this out. There it is. Journal of Clinical Nutrition. Let's say you go here to see if what they're saying is true. Here's what you have to read. You gonna read that? <laughs> In short, of course, carbohydrates are one ingredient to diabetes. The other half of that truth is that fat is also a necessary ingredient to diabetes. You cannot have diabetes on a low-fat diet. This has been proven by science. Okay, it turns out that I still have too much footage for one video. So more on this bullshit later. I will cut to the chase and show you how to tell where the bullshit is and who we can trust. But there's something else I need to discuss right now because remember two days ago in my last video. Oh, man. Remember two days ago, I said this. I'm gonna show you how much I know about how, how YouTube works. I've gained about four subs in 10 days. But watch this. Within the next two days, I'll be at a thousand. And now it's two days later, and here are the current numbers. I know how to work YouTube. So I won't have that to bitch about anymore. But there's plenty of other stuff. So my next video is coming up in a matter of hours. This is an important one to watch and to share. Life-changing information.